Mr. Heyman. Um, hello, this is Mr. Heyman. Um, today we're going to be working on isosceles triangle problems. So, first of all, um, isosceles triangles, we remember, are triangles where two sides are the same length. So, let's look at example number one. So, solve for x. We see right off the bat that this is definitely an isosceles triangle because we've got these two pairs of congruency lines on both sides. Um, what that should remind us to do right off the bat is to draw this little shape connecting these two sets of lines. And we notice that, that makes a V. And that reminds us that this angle right here, this must be the vertex angle. And if this is the vertex angle, we remember that these other two angles here in the corners, these must be what we call base angles. And in an isosceles triangle, base angles are congruent. And that's going to be the most important key to helping us start this problem here. Um, so we notice that this base angle over here is labeled as 2x. And this base angle over here has to be congruent. So since, since we know the base angles are always the same, this one's also going to be 2x. 2x. All right. So now we have a label in every single corner. If we, have, if we have measures in every corner of a triangle, then we can start putting together um, our equation. We know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So just take every one of these three, and we can put them together. So we've got 2x, and we've got um, 2x, and we've got 80. And altogether, those equal 180. So you simplify 4x plus 80 equals 180. You can subtract 80 from both sides. And we get that 4x equals 100. And we divide by that integer coefficient 4. And this divides out, so we have x equals 25. All right? So pretty straightforward. That's example number one. All right? Here is example number two. All right. So we're going to give you a second to read that. I'll write a little example two up here. OK. So we know that um, the vertex angle of A of isosceles triangle ABC, I should label this isosceles triangle ABC, measures 20 more than 3 times angle B. Um, without a diagram, we know right off the bat that we should be making a diagram. So let's make a diagram. And remember, it doesn't matter how we draw it, really. Um, drawings might not be drawn to scale, so it's OK. All right, and this is triangle ABC. doesn't matter where you put your A's, your B's, and your C's, as long as there's one of each. And then it says right here, we know that um, vertex angle is A. So what we have to remember is that A is the vertex angle, so A must have the V, right? OK, so we got draw the V. Now we know because of that V, that V connects the congruency lines. So we know that these are the two legs that are congruent to one another. OK, since these are the two legs, this is the vertex, we know that Angle B and angle C down here, these are base angles. Great. And so the measures of this ang of this angle is going to be congruent to the measure of this angle. All right. Now we got to figure out how to make sense of all this. 20 more than 3 times angle B is the measure of angle A. Generally, what we want to do in a problem like this is we want to start with giving an algebraic value to the the measurement that everything else is based off of. Um, so in this example, since it tells us um, the measure of angle A in terms of angle B, it says it's three times angle B and 20 more than that, what we can, should do is start with angle B. That's the one that everything's based off of. So we'll give angle B a measurement. Let's, um, we can t call it, uh, let's just call it uh, smiley face. So angle B is, has a measure of smiley face. All right. 
So if angle A is 20 more than 3 times angle B, or 20 more than 3 times smiley face, we know that that the measure of angle A is going to be 3 times smiley face plus 20. All right. We don't quite have a measure in every single angle yet. Um, but all we have to do is remember, just like we did in this example, when we had a 2x here, we put a 2x here because they're both base angles. Since we have a smiley face here, we can put a smiley face here because they're both base angles. All right. And again, we can make our equation. We know that it's going to, this is all going to equal 180 because we have all three corners. So we have 3 smiley face plus 20 plus smiley face plus another smiley face equals 180. So we have 5 smiley face plus 20 equals 180. And go minus 20 got 5 smiley face equals 160 and we can divide by the integer coefficient 5 so you can figure out just what smiley face is all by itself so smiley face equals um, 160 divided by 5 is 32 so that's what we got for smiley face we have to make sure though that we answer our question as always we want to find the measure of angle C so we look back at our diagram, we see where angle C is. We notice the measure of angle C is smiley face. So the measure of this one is smiley face is 32, so measure of angle C is 32 degrees. And that's it. All right. Um, yeah, great.